Okay, it is blazing hot in this room right now, but I'm like, I want to see if this works. I did switch out one of Gail's level one. Sorry, it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I switched out his level two spell uh, from the acid arrow, which has been handy, to darkness. Uh, yes. It heavily obscures and blinds. I wanted to use fog because that was something I thought we could put on ourselves. Um, but I'm going to use it on the others if I can't. I can't even do that because we don't. Okay, we better hope diplomacy works. Deep and move. It's still floating there. Dang it. Okay. Well, never mind then. Um. If they're just gonna start combat on me, why would I just run across like a trap ridden dealy wop? Like, I would let them come to me, but they're probably all archers, and that sucks. Also, the trap, the t those traps seem to be, as long as you're, cl if you're close enough at the end of the round, then they blow up. So. Like they go from like yellow or green to like orange to like red. All right, so my secret, super secret attack plan is to have my warriors flank. Cause this is actually like an approachable route, but I'm gonna keep these two over here. What did he say? I can't, I can't hear anything. I keep forgetting to change to see if I can fix the volume, but I just can't hear them when they're that quiet. I, that's why I asked for subtitles to be on so I could see the chatter going on. Ha! Huh. So we have one more left. Can I recharge? No, okay. I could use, I could do one level two. Or maybe like two level one times. But I do have all of these. I've given him all of those. Okay, no, don't do anything crazy, my lad, my boy. Uh, we are not. Wait, we are. No, dang, I can't. Frick. I'm going in. He says, I'm going in. Don't burn yourself. Uh, everybody's looking. I'm nothing. We are literally the worst people to be doing this. But here we go. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to make it. Ooh. I said hiding failed. Am I, am I still not a part of the fight? It said my hiding failed, but uh... At least I'm pretty sure it said my hiding failed. Dang it, I am not! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang it! I forgot to switch for my stupid torch! Alas. Can, wait, can Gail not do anything? Let's light them up. Why can't you do anything, Gail? Do I really not hang it? That was that was what I was gonna look at. Did I not have cantrips for Gail? Like, yeah. These are cantrips. Why? Uh, those should be. Oh, I thought that those would be in the. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. I keep doing it, but yeah, it's still a spell. It's still an action. It's just a cantrip action. I don't know why I thought this for for whatever reason for him in my head. I was like, this is where the cantrips live. And but that's really unfair that I can't. I've been wanting to try this venom. Ay ay ay. I'm concerned. I'm a hecka concerned. You've messed up. At least you won't live 
I mean, I don't mind fighting slavers, but there's a lot of them. And they've got wolves. They have names. Aww. Coated in drow poison. What are you doing with drow poison? Hellish rebuke. Listen, I will let you... Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. We're actually gonna die. I'm gonna push the wolf off. Oh, I'm sorry, puppy, but I needed to do that. Ah. I was like, was I stricken with drow poison? That doesn't make any sense, and I don't think I was. No, wait, I think I was. No, I don't know. Oh, why are you get- they're dead. Why are you raging over there? <gasps> you can kill them while they're down, you aos. You can't- oh my gosh, now I have to- Now I have to go through the whole rigmarole again. Did I pull... Oh, dang. I was trying to pull her away from him. It didn't work. Alas. <laughs> Sorry, dog. They're missing us. We have pretty high armor. It's the poison that's getting us. Dang, Nabbit, they both died. At least I don't have to pay to resurrect... Uh, what's his name? I only have to pay to resurrect Will. Dang, I wonder if long, does long rest bring him back? I don't think it does. I don't think it brought Asterion back. Fitted sticks. I don't know what he's doing with that button over there. It keeps pressing it, but I am gonna need to reload. Uh, not sure. Maybe I. I mean, having my flankers, having my tanks flank, maybe not the best. And they're all, most of the enemy are ranged. There's like one, that all it took was one warrior to go over to my ranged people and wreck them. So I will have to worry about that another time. <laughs> um, I, I may have fixed my audio issues that I was having on my end. They were not bothering you guys as far as I could tell, but the game was incredibly quiet for me. And it was a stupidly simple fix. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> um, also, I really am just so sick of coming up to fights and having to back down. So I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to take a long nap. And we're going to get healed up. And we're gonna get all fixed. I also did have an I thought an article pop up today on my phone that was like, oh, this the Apollo eye surgery. Blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. So I clicked because it was like consequences of the Volo eye surgery or, so, or like the the outcome of the Volo eye surgery. And I was like, okay, because my friend had alluded to the fact that there might be a minus one to your intelligence. And I was like, no, and I couldn't see that. Like nothing seemed to indicate that, but I didn't know if it was like a hidden stat somewhere. Turns out, in the regular release of the game, um, they took away that. Um, uh, in the in the full release, they took away that, and they changed it a little bit. But you can still see invisibility, and you cannot at this point in time. I just assumed maybe I hadn't run into it yet. Also, I don't think. Oh, it did. I was like, I wasn't sure if my my icon changed, um, but I think it did. Get it? My icon. <laughs> um, I, there's no way to change it, um, which I wouldn't mind keeping it the color it is if I could just make the pupil black, or the, uh, sclera? Yeah, the sclera black, um, to match my other eye, but I do want it to be distinct in some way, just not like that obvious. I really loved my aesthetic. I worked really hard on it, <laughs> and then I just let a man take a pickaxe to my eye. <laughs> I deserve that minus one intelligence that I don't have. 
Anyway, we are going to attempt. <laughs> Just, I wasn't sure if this was gonna work because the enemies are right there. <laughs> but yeah, hell yeah, this <laughs> worked. Flies everywhere. Anyway, I feel bad we keep taking all these long rests and I'm like super concerned <laughs> that we're gonna be like progressing the story. <laughs> like, in, like, every night we fall asleep, I feel like Lizelle is gonna come kill me or be upset that we still have tadpoles in our brains. And I'm like, listen, it actually stresses me out. And it was really messing with me in the first part of the game. I was like, oh my gosh, I have this tadpole in my brain. But people are like, explore, take your time. I'm like, there's a tadpole in my brain and Lizelle's trying to kill me. <laughs> Anyway, what is Gale doing? Okay, he's not all by himself. By him's lonesome. A private word would be nice. You good? Oh, nice. Uh, he's on it. Okay, he's very obviously unhappy and angry and sad. And they're doing a really good, not a really good job, but they're doing, working very hard to make sure his face moves around. And I'm just creeping. That spell of yours is attracting mosquitoes. Mosquitoes aren't drawn to light. What? Well, as far as I know, they aren't. Pretty. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... Miles Look away. at this, your ex-girlfriend. If so, I'd be glad to join your visual. Please, absolutely not. I may be a paladin, but I am not an idiot. <laughs> uh, I actually worked very hard at making sure this character isn't an idiot. <laughs> I've been through a lot for that. Um, oh, shoot. Then again, he's just standing there with a hologram of his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend out. Like, oh, I can't believe you saw me doing that. I'm like, you're standing in the hallway. We're pretty well lit in here, all things considered. Like, what? <laughs> what is your deal? <laughs> hmm. Well, of course we can freaking guess who she freaking is. He just told us about Mistra, and now it's like, who's that beautiful goddess-like woman that you were looking at? Is everything all right? Just pondering what I lost. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... My life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like Hello, it. Hello, Solos. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Well, yeah. I mean, this guy, okay, this guy is Anders, right? He's essentially Anders, but now he's talking like Solos. So he's a two for one. It's a double whammy for me. I can't resist him, but he's still second place in my heart, even if he is two of my love interests combined, because Carlac is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in a video game, ever. Like, and she's funny, and like, she's tough, and and she's like cute still, like she does like funny little cute things, like cutesy things, and when she talks, she's like super animated about the things she's passionate about, even if it's like bashing devils or demons in, rather, and like, I don't know, she's got a lot of personality, a lot of spunk, you know, and she, I don't, I just feel like she's like one of the best, like, fe like oftentimes, like I don't, I don't really care who I romance, but I'm often attracted to the men in these video games, because there's that whole thing of like, um, I prefer fictional men and real life women. It's like the bisexual conundrum. One of the bisexual conundrums. There's a whole list of them. But, um. But it's, yeah, like, because generally, like, fictional women are written to be very just, like, one. Not generally, but oft oftentimes they are sometimes, sometimes written to be one dimensional. And it's like, mm, yeah, okay. Like, Liara wasn't super interested. You may be surprised seeing as how I'm an archaeologist, but it wasn't really my thing. She didn't really do it for me. She was just kind of boring and bland, and her voice was just like very monotone, and like I didn't really like her. But like, I don't know. There hasn't been a ton of like video game women to like really jump out at me as being like full of like pizzazz 
and like personality and the spark that I like, but Karlak is all of that. She's all of that. It's amazing. She's amazing. I'm very excited because I think she'll actually be my first lady romance on the channel. Like, yeah, I think she will be. Even though I've been open to the idea for many years at this point, and now it's like, finally, finally, there's a woman that I'm like, yes, you are everything I want. <laughs> anyway, Gail, I also want you. Don't, don't let me rambling about Carlac get you down. Uh, would you like to, this is literally what Solis says to you at one point, almost, like basically, almost word for word. And his, his thing is the fade, not the weave. And it's just, yeah, I can't, how can I not? How can I not? Yes, I would. Then follow my lead. Oh, don't have to tell, am I taller? <gasps> I'm taller than he is. Oh, that's a novel experience for me. I didn't see any. Nah. Now you. Oh, that was it. I thought we were gonna like go somewhere very magically, but all he did was like, <laughs> all he did was make a light ball show up. <laughs> is he showing me magic tricks? Anyway, this is fun. Okay, not performance. Ooh, my arcana. Oh, from dexterity, that's something. Okay, imitate the gesture slowly and as precisely as you can. Oh, I'm scared. I'm, oh, okay, okay. Difficulty five. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That was close. That was close. I mean, I'm a paladin. I can cast. But it's through, like, uh, divine. She looks so happy. You feel something strange. Like a kind word and a kind touch oh. at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after Puppy, me. Puppy, come back. Athran mistra real kantrak eo. Why? Hmm. <laughs> that sounds uh, scary and like I maybe shouldn't do it. <laughs> what is he trying to get me to do here? Is he, tri is he pulling an Anders on me and he's going to trick me? Um, also, I don't. I only cast through, like, uh, divine power, I guess. So, like, I don't. I don't think I touch the weave. I don't think I use the weave necessarily. Divine power is different than magic. So, and I cast through charisma, and he casts through intelligence, right? Like, that's a big basic difference, like in the stats, anyway. You sense power in these words. Uh, speak them deliberately. Very good, yeah, I picked the right one. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm rolling low on these puppies, but we're still doing it. <laughs> Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. So this is internal. Very good. Okay. Now... I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony, as true as you can. Interesting. So I was, okay, I was like teasing, right? Because I'm like, we're, like, Solus takes you to the Fade in your dreams, you know? And so you like go to a place. But the weave isn't really a place. It's, I guess it's a, it's kind of all around you, kind of like the veil, maybe? But, um, it's more of an internal thing. So this is very, and you're, you're basically communing with the goddess. It's almost, you could make, I don't know. I don't know much about the magic systems, I guess, in this whole thing. But, like, it almost seems like you're communing with Mistra every time you use an in intelligence-based magic, right? Not just, like, charisma, like a sorcerer or paladin or whatever. I think druids use wisdom. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is interesting. It's more how we feel. Think of the here and now as an unexpected moment of learning. Picture a place of utter peace, away from all harm and the mayhem of civilization. Roll a memory, or call a memory, <laughs> roll a memory. Recall a memory of early youth, a happy family moment, performance. Try to hum a familiar tune. So it looks like my best bet is history. 
I think nature would probably be what I would do. I am going to actually, because my friend told me on Discord, Sparsworth, once again, coming into the rescue, that you can quick save in your dialogue. So I think nature is what she would picture. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, it worked. This is fun. I like this. I just bumped into him. <laughs> you see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman? The woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss. Then the pleasure of being cloaked in kiss. Oh my, um. You are safe. Yeah. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. I don't think this is for us. <laughs> you did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? I was going to say, apparently it's fairly sens sensual. That it does. I can see why he wouldn't want to give this up. The moment feels intimate. He was just daydreaming over his ex. He was just daydreaming over his ex. Um, hold on. It's a... Wait, what? So I only have the option... Oh, oh I just hurt my face. I'm, like, rubbing it so hard. I don't know if I want to be intimate with Gail. No. What have I done? Okay, let's see. You realize the weave is making uh, one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gail will no, know it. No, oh, oh, no, oh no, oh no. Picture kicking him in the gut, that is hilarious. Picture just hovered head on a spike. Picture another thing, this is a bad idea. I'm going to, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna go straight in. For the kill. Picture a romantic walk, you're handsome with the gills. I don't know if he'll like that. He doesn't really seem like the romantic walk kind of guy. The man slept with the goddess. But he literally just had a picture of her in his hands. It would be so dumb. Also, Karlak is like 20 feet away, and I desperately want her to love me. <laughs> yes. I... I didn't think... Uh-oh. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment. Oh, okay. Trepidation. And finally... Elation. I don't know. Sorry, I wasn't expecting. Now I feel awkward. But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Oh. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. Okay. The weave bye. Evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold. And Time lonesome. to defenestrate myself. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Okay, bye. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, bye. I, hmm, I, bleh. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Oh, time to go talk to Karlak. Hey, soldier. Uh, talk about old rusty. Did Mary do that? Sure. Look at her, though. Oh, it sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is find some infernal iron. Let's hope Diamond is as good as he seems. Once my engine's oh happens, yeah, I can focus on more important. We already matters. did this. Tadpole. What does it do to you? Gives me energy. Uh huh. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted. Enticed. All right, no, you know what? I burn hot. Well, you must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. <laughs> One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. Dang it. I hope I haven't ruined... I don't think I've ruined things with her. I want to be flirty with everyone. Hello. What can I do for except you? Except for you. Except with you. Not you. And not Shadowheart. And not Lizelle. Um, 
So, how does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. So he's only a spawn then, in, in theory. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? That was... Trust me. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't think it happens. So he's still under control because he has the bite marks on his neck. At least it seems like he's under control. Well, from the bitter way he's speaking. Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? Well, excuse me? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. Oh. They won't ever control me again. Dang, okay, I did not expect that. I thought maybe his, oh, like, his, not even owners, I thought his makers were dead. But apparently they made him, and he was just there until he got stolen by the Mind Flayers, maybe? That's actually, that's pretty interesting. And he's very adamant. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way, so why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. Raphael's the devil who tried to, uh... Have us make a deal with him. I'm assuming the other person he mentioned. Look, uh, we have this titty shot. <laughs> Vestarian right here. <laughs> oh, man. Um, the other guy, Cazador, must be the guy who made him. And I was about to... I did one. I was wondering. I'm like, why? Like, how come he can't, like... I assume they could like send him a mind thing and be like, come back, you have to come back, and he has to obey. But apparently the tadpole and or the guardian that he has, cause it, what I like is that everybody seems to have their own guardian, or it's my, it's, we all have the same guardian, maybe. Um, but either way, I like that, because it's not just like, you know, oh, you're the super coolest, you know, number one person, because you have guardian, and you're super special with a capital S. Like, I like that. We all do. So... Uh, we have other options, better options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more. Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet a ten. <laughs> He's like, well, uh, yes, I mean, you're not wrong. It is an option. Not a great one, though. Okay, bye. Um, so that's interesting. Apparently, we do. I'm like, just add it to the list, my guy. My list is huge, and I can never get anything done. Um, but for my companions, there is much I would do. There is almost nothing I would not do for you. And believes that might still be the case. How do I see what their approval is with me? Oh, dang. So, oh, God, apparently Will and Gail really like me. Character is happy with and easily convinced. Relationship is fair. Character is trusted. Avatar is variable. I have to get her back up. I have to get her. I have to love her. Because I don't want to, I don't want to sleep with Gail. Like, I like Gail. Oh, um, yeah, I want to, no, I think I'm going to probably focus more on Oh, no, I feel like a terrible person. I'm going to say that the magic, the moment was literally magic with Gail. And 
And maybe once you come out of it, it's like, okay, well, we were having, there was like a bit of a, there was a bit of a vibe there with the magic stuff going on. Uh, but this is the woman I love. I do love that I'm taller than Gail, though. I don't get to do, I don't get to experience that in real life. <laughs> so, so that's fun. That's fun. But I don't know what everybody else is, thinks of me. It's kind of a pain I can't, at least as far as I know, I can't, like, dismiss people. I have to talk to them to dismiss them, and then I feel bad. Or, like, if I, like, talk to somebody, and they're like, oh, your party's too full, why can't I just dismiss somebody from that screen, you know? I love this crop top. Well met. This crop top with the horns is such a look. Um, Are you sure? Yes, hang on. Just the blade stands at the r and just. No, no, no! Don't worry, my friend. Don't worry. I'm not gonna have Carlac leave. I will have Asterion join. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mini. Darling. I thought you'd never ask. Okay, maybe I'll take Lead on. maybe I'll take him out for a bit. He is so charming. <gasps> Does he not like me at all? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Alright, Pop, how are you? Come 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 pop. Hope you're keeping well, friend. He's so cute. He's actually a really well-made dog in the video game. I think he's just super cute. My my pup I had before was mostly white. Maybe that's why. <coughs> oh hi. Nobody's dead. Is she? She's getting ready to. She getting ready to fight Shadow. Wow, her and Shadow Heart next to each other. Something the matter? Just that you're about to like throw down with Lizelle. Fine. What's on your mind? <gasps> what? I must admit. Okay. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Bye. She sounds angry with me. Speak. Okay, bye. I I already know how the care thing plays out. We've already asked a variation of that a gazillion times. I'll give it a shot. Oh, we have so much food. Excellent. <laughs> Meditation pose. Oh, this is a good picture. If I can. There we go. I think I got it right before the pup turned around. Alright. I gave him the... The little dagger that the skinny one from Divinity 2. Um... Is that okay? This is where they are. It's over this way. I guess let's see if things go differently with Asterion. One day I'll catch a break. Okay, there's still people over there. I guess I'm just. I really am kind of. I still don't have any of those. Ugh. What now? Not how I wanted you to open your heart. Did you just hear that? Not how I wanted you to open your heart. She walks on it and she said, Gail, no! She was like really upsetty spaghetti. Uh. 
I just, I almost forgot I was recording. I'm doing pretty well this fight. Just cast darkness up here on these guys. Okay, I got interrupted from a phone call, but did you guys freaking see that? I freaking, I, <laughs> he was doing so well, and Asterion was doing so well. And then he got pushed, and I was really hoping, I was like, oh, I'm sure he just landed behind us somewhere. And then I was like, his trajectory kind of put him, and then I just look over, and he's just freaking absolutely wrecked. This woman just killed, he was full health, too. He was full health. And he just got pushed off the edge. It's like what happened when I did to the wolf on the last couple tries that I've done. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my own, one of my own characters got pushed off. I'm so upset he's spaghetti. people away from the cliff. I was doing so well this time, but I got this character. She freaking... She freaking, that woman, she figured out our weak point is that we're stand. I know we're at the lower, but we were doing much better down there. Like, the upper, I know to be up is better and to not have everybody, like, you know, shooting down at you is better, but we were doing really well. It was like, it was easier to funnel them in. There was a little bit of, a, there was like some barriers a little bit, but like, uh, I know it was not. <laughs> Wanna dance? Wanna dance? I don't know, everybody, everybody wants to dance with me. Let's get going. No, I cannot say that I mind. I say that, but then there's like an opportunity to be like super flirty with Gail, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on a second. <laughs> if I've messed up things with Carlac, which I don't think so, the game seems to be pretty open, or at least they'll let you romance multiple characters. Uh, it's just that the characters themselves might be less than pleased. But um, I thought I was not. Dang it! I re there was a. I realized earlier when I snuck through, there was an open spot here. No. Okay, I'm reloading that. Oh, reload that. There was a sneak spot that I didn't really have to sneak through. It was just, I just crouched through it and it was fine. It didn't make me do any rolls. I think it was small enough. But I think just walking through it was a bad idea. Anyway, I like Gale. I do. But I think I'll save his romance for a different character, maybe? Hmm. But I do like him. But I like Carlac better. But I do like being taller than him. Also, now I've like flirted with him and now I feel like I'd have to let him down. Dang. Oh, I did not. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it was the magic. If I have to in my head anyway. Move with care. On my way. Come on. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, we're sneaking, we're sneaking. I was gonna maybe sneak up this, but this is this seems very risky. This really isn't my fault. This really isn't my fault. It's nice to be able to hear their voices now. I was gonna say I better just kill him, kill it right off the gate. That's what my goal is. At least you won't live to regret it. I can protect them both. Nice. Dang it, my concentration was broken. I also can see they keep coating their stuff in poison over there, but I can't get to it. I've been wanting to try this venom. 
Who's still hiding success? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Jeez. Well, the last hour has gone about as well. Well, I guess maybe like half an hour. 40 minutes, about 40 minutes has gone about as well as you can expect. Once again, I'm gonna have to abandon this area and come back to it another time, I guess, because, um... What the frick else am I supposed to do? <laughs> I can't... I can't really... I don't know what to do. I've tried my best. I did my best until I got pushed off. Two people got pushed off the edge and things were going great till then. The second fight we got wrecked. So, yeah, I guess we'll go somewhere else and come back to this some other time. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.